To find your client's peak leg power using the vertical jump test, first explain the procedure, what it is for, and what it involves. Now have the client stand on the side of the rack appropriate for their dominant hand and get them to reach as high as possible with their feet flat on the ground. Bring the rack to within that reach. Now explain that you will do three jump trials with 10 to 15 seconds of rest between each jump and that you will only take their best score. To do the jump, tell them they must bring their arms down and back as they go into a semi-crouch, but not to bend their knees past 90 degrees. Have them pause at the bottom, there's no counter movement allowed, and then jump to reach as high as possible. Now move the swatted bars out of the way, and when they are ready, have them jump a second time. Again, if they manage to jump higher than the first trial, move the swatted bars out of the way, and have them jump a third and final time. Remember you will only take their highest jump height. Every red bar is 6 inches, every blue bar is 1 inch, and every white bar is half an inch. Therefore, in this case, the client's highest jump height was 18.5 inches, or 47 centimeters. If your client is able to jump higher than the rack, then raise the bar to one of the preset heights marked here by the red lines. Then get them to go ahead and do their trials, and then subtract their total standing reach height from their highest jump height. You can then input their highest jump value into this formula to calculate their peak leg power in watts. Then you can use that to determine their associated health benefit rating.